Today I'm going to demonstrate how File Access Manager can be used to complement your existing security controls to strengthen your Active Directory posture. Before I start, let's look at some of the controls that may be in place today. Most organizations will likely be using an IGA solution to govern and manage AD user accounts and groups. Also, a PAM solution may be deployed to secure domain administrator's password, including session recording. Lastly, a SIEM solution to centrally collect and process security events. So, what may be some of the gaps here? First, most IGA solution performs a scheduled processing. This means there is a window of opportunity for an insider to perform malicious changes and revert them back to avoid detection. Second, from a PAM perspective, it may not cover all possible privileged accounts or groups. For example, a homegrown or court application which uses AD for authorization may have groups that grant privilege access to the application but they may not be under the jurisdiction of the PAM solution. Lastly, for sure cost consideration, not all AD events may be sent to the SIEM solution. Given that AD is commonly referred to holding the keys to the kingdom, missing a suspicious event can prove to be detrimental. Now, let me proceed to the demo. In this scenario, I have set up three systems. Um, one is Active Directory, second will be Identity IQ. Identity IQ will be the authoritative source for making changes to Active Directory. So any users who wants to request for any group membership will have to log in to Identity IQ, submit a request, get it approved, and if it's approved, Identity IQ will automatically provision the change. Anything that happens outside of it will be considered a violation. Lastly, I have File Access Manager set up. Um, it is basically mo monitoring Active Directory for real-time changes. So later, what I'm going to do is I will simulate a user logging in into Active Directory and add a user into a particular group. Since this change is not coming from Identity IQ, it will be picked up by File Access Manager and File Access Manager will send a violation request processing to Identity IQ. After Identity IQ receive it, it will check its change request database. If it cannot find the change request, it will actually raise a violation processing. So in terms of violation processing, you have various options. In this example, what I'm going to do is to send a approval request to the supervisor, ask the supervisor to review the changes and get him to approve or reject the change. So if the change is rejected, Identity IQ will connect to AD and remove the user from the group itself. So what this means is Identity IQ will revert the change. So now, let me go to the demo proper. So here, I have the Active Directory server running. So what I'm going to do here is to launch um, the MNC snap-in, go to say admin group. I'm choosing just this group you know, so that it, it gives you some visual uh, connection. So, but you can notice that it is not part of, it is not a domain admin or even enterprise admin or schema admin. So it can be actually any group. I'm going to add somebody to it. Right, so I'm going to add Amanda Ross here. Amanda, check names and here. I'm going to save it, okay. So let's review it again. So now Amanda is part of the system. Okay, great. So while FAM is performing this magic at the back end, right? Uh, connecting to Identity IQ and so on and so forth. Let me just take you through how a file access manager dashboard looks like. So when as an administrator, if you log in, you, you will see a dashboard that gives you all the details that you need to, to work out your day. So here you can actually look at, you know, the activity statistics across the endpoints that you've connected to. 
here is Active Directory and you can see that there is a spike and it, it is coming down. Likewise, on the right, um, you will actually be able to see all the alerts that has been generated for the past seven days. So it supports drill down capabilities. So based on the color scheme, if you click on one of the color, right, um, once you click on it, it will drill down, bring you to the Forensic Analysis tab so that you can actually see what is happening in the background. You know, review all the alert details, who has been performing the change and so on and so forth. Okay, let's see if I do a refresh now, um, will the changes be picked up already? Ah, you can see here, from six now it becomes seven. So if you drill down, click on it, pick up the last one, and you will be able to see all the details that is related to the change itself. So as I mentioned earlier, a alert has been fired because of irregular group changes. And you notice that we picked up that the administrator has added Amanda Ross into the admin group. So now let's go back to the image itself. So here you will actually see Identity IQ has already started processing of the native change violation. So it has received an email. So if I go back to the manager screen, this is Jerry, who is a Amanda's manager. And if I do a refresh, you actually will see that the approval has changed from zero to one. So if you go into the approval, here, you can review the changes. So we have actually detected a native account change for the user Amanda Ross. And as part of the pol remediation policy I've mentioned earlier, we need her, her manager to actually approve or reject the change. So I'm going to reject it here. As I mentioned earlier, once rejected, Identity IQ will connect to AD and revert all the changes. So if I go back to my Active Directory, if I do a get message, you will realize that account changes you have requested for Amanda Rose were processed, being notified. So if you go into AD now, look at the group membership itself. Let me just close this thing off. Double click on it. Look at the members and you realize that Amanda Ross has been removed from the group. This short demo basically shows you how you can use File Access Manager to complement and strengthen your existing controls, especially around AD governance, right? It also helps you um, take away the blind spots that you might have uh, when it comes to processing AD events in a scheduled manner. So with this, thank you for your time. If you have any queries, please reach out to your SailPoint sales representative and they will be able to help you. Thank you.